basically I'm going to be doing a quick overview of my star stock account. I recently started this about two weeks ago, put in $25 and I've re recently went on a little bit of a buying spree. Um, so I'm just going to go through. I have five total purchases. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys use star stock on how I did, I'm brand new to it. So we'll see how I did. I already have a bit of an L, but we'll start with my oldest purchase. This was my first bought on September 6th. I bought a James Wiseman Star Stock A, which is the highest grade of a raw card if you're not familiar with Star Stock. Uh, so I got a Star Stock A at $17, and we'll go down to the search history. Uh, you can actually see this is my purchase here at $17. Three days later, it sold for $17.50, and since that date, it has just been going lower and lower, $14.25, $13, $12.15, $12.75, and the latest of $12. I didn't see any news on James Wiseman. I'm not sure why he's uh, tanking, in a sense, on uh, Star Stock, um, but it, n nothing I'm worried about. I'll hold him into the season, and worst case scenario, I'm a Warriors fan, so I'm happy to have his card anyways. Uh, but in regards to the whole day flipping attempt, it's not looking so hot with that card at the moment. Uh, next, these are all four cards that I purchased today. Uh, I got a Jamal Murray Star Stock B. Let's dive into that. I purchased it for four fifty. dollars See the sales history on this. You can see Star Stock B four fifty dollars was my purchase here. Uh, the last was $4, and before that was actually $6 in August. And the main reason I purchased this card, if you look over here, uh, back in January, it was $6, went up to 9 We have consistent, it hit over 10 in uh, February during the season. We see it trend lower, about $5, and even down to around $2 here. Um, but my whole plan with this is to purchase it now at $4.50. And I'm assuming it's going to hit these levels here uh, if he does well during the season, about si even $6. I'm not looking for any huge flips here. This is honestly just for fun, a little bit of day trading um, and some low-cost gambling. Uh, so I think there's some potential, even if I sell it for $5 and make $0.50. Cents, that's fine with me there. Uh, so Darius Garland is another guy that's on my radar. I picked up the Starstock B for $0.50. Cents. Not the craziest purchase, um, but we'll go down here. Latest sale was 50 cents. That was me. Uh, and before that, you can see a lot are being sold for 50 cents. Um, and this is a card that at one point in February was double the price at a dollar. Uh, you see it here. It's it's a card that I could have gotten if I was in a star stock in June for 11 cents. Uh, so I'm a little late to the party, but my whole idea is... Uh, Throughout the season, I think it's going to reach these levels. Uh, he's been improving. Uh, he improved a lot his second year. And, I mean, I think he's going to be a 20-plus per point uh, points per game type of player. Um, and I really think I'll be easily able to double the money on that one. And we'll go to our uh, Jerry Jackson purchase of 250 This is just a paper Donruss. Not the optic, a little out of my price range after I spent 17 on Wiseman and these other purchases. Um, so we'll go down. This was my purchase here. As you can see, I pay, overpaid a little bit uh, compared to recent comps, but I bought the lowest listed price. I know I paid 39 more cents than the last one. Uh, but again, this is a card that I think got in January. This was $11, uh, $7 in March. $5 in May, and then recently has been on a bit of a tank. So this is honestly one, if I do put more money into my account or sell any cards, I think I'm going to try to pick up more of these. I just think the potential, if he goes anywhere near where he was in February throughout the season, I mean, this is one that I could easily quadruple my money on and sell for $10 if he plays well, in my opinion. Uh, so I think there's a lot of potential with that one, which is why I was willing to pay a little bit above recent prices. And I, it's, it's a card I didn't really want to wait on. Put in an offer of $2.15, and no one accepts the offer, and then it jumps up to $5. So I, I'm happy to pay $2.50.
Um, and this is the last card I purchased. Let's go back to the purchase price here, 45 cents. And we'll compare that to the other most recent sales. Probably overpaid. No, no, this is one also that was just super hot. You can tell uh, Garland was, his mosaic and his optic were on the most traded in the last 24 hours list. And you can just tell this is all September 16th. Star Sock Bees, 44 cents, 44 cents. And one was listed at 45, and it's, I'm not really worried about that extra penny. Um, I just want to put my money to work on this, and I'm happy to pay 45 cents. And as you can see, God just, he's been getting bought up. This is still the 16th. This is still today. I'm recording this on Thursday the 16th. So you can just see, like, just, just massive, massive volume of trading for Darius Garland right now. Um, and we'll go back to the history on this one. Uh, Star Stock B, honestly, this throughout the history of this card, this is a pretty uh, high-end price for it on Star Stock. I might have, yeah, I don't know if it's actually reached 45 cents ever until uh, I bought it today. So that's, I don't know. We'll see how we feel about that. But honestly, it's one I think is going to do very well uh, into the season. Yeah, you can see it's 44 cents, which is the highest it's probably been. At uh, one point in May, it was 39, and then 34 in July, and then, yeah, mid-30 cents in uh, July. But we're not playing with big money here, playing with quarters. Um, so this is mainly for fun, but this is something I'm going to do my best to to see what I can turn that $25 into. And I just want to document it, and if you guys enjoy this little day trading or low-cost buys and see what we can flip $25 into, I think it'll be kind of fun. It'll be sort of like a game. Um, so with that said, I appreciate all you guys watching. I'm going to have some cool videos coming up next week. Uh, I'm going to have a pretty, yeah, we'll say pretty huge mail day coming up. Uh, all the cards are getting shipped to ship my cards. And once they're all there, I'll have it shipped home. And we'll do a pretty cool unboxing probably in the next week or two. Uh, so that's the biggest thing coming up. I appreciate all you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Everyone have a great week.